Hi, Jennifer here with City Farmhouse Antiques, and I am here to show you these adorable folk art Santas. These are American made and very well known and highly sought after and collectible. Judy Valencourt um, first started these back in 1984, and they have just become extremely collectible and really in their own right, they're heirlooms. Um, these are produced in Sutton, Massachusetts, and with such extreme fine detail, and that's why they're so collectible. Um, when they started this back in 1984, Judy's husband actually gave her some antique chocolate molds, and she became inspired and started creating these chalkware Santas, and she at first did them, of course, with chocolate, and then later with beeswax, and then because she was such a good painter, she started hand painting them. Well, people really liked them. They had entered them, I think, in a, in a fair. They started taking orders. Nonetheless, they continued to grow and grow. And her husband eventually left his job to help her. And that was how this American tradition was born. And their store, I've never been. I would love to go. But their store in Sutton, Massachusetts, they have over 3,000 molds of different Santas and different pieces that are all hand done. They're artists. Each piece is hand painted, then it's antiqued, and then it is marked on the bottom and numbered and signed. And so because of all the attention to detail on these pieces is really why they're so collectible and they can be... Um, cherished for years to come and passed down. Um, they've outgrown several buildings over the years since 1984 and had to get in bigger buildings and now not only do they have the 3,000 different molds and types but they have a museum of sorts of all types of different Christmas traditions from around the entire world which would be so neat to go see and learn. I'm gonna have to get get over there and check it out. But this little guy, you can just see all of the detail. And then I'll show you these back here. This is a Santa that's on his um, rocking horse. So you can see there's stars down there, but look at all of the detail with the hand painting. It's just amazing. That's why, again, they are so collectible and so cute. Look at that. And then I believe when we turn him around, you can see that he is marked on the bottom. This one was number 28, made in 2014. And then we have another one here. This is Santa with his little teddy bear. Again, we will have these up on the website. If I don't have them up on the website right away and you see one that you want to grab, just message me and I will help you and get him sent your way. He's marked toys there. This one looks like he has a little mark of paint or where there was just a tiny chip from age. And I, because they're so, they, they look like folk art, I think the age and they're antiqued, everything just kind of adds to their patina and they look older. This one was made in 2011. And then I have two more little ones here. this little cutie he's actually got a little jingle bell he's got glitter and he's probably maybe four inches tall five five inches tall look at that hand painted bag it's just incredible that all of these pieces are hand painted and they say that on average it takes 16 people to do one of these pieces and three weeks to create each piece again he's marked on the bottom too 29 of 100, so there was only 100 of this one made in 2017. So he's a limited edition piece, beautiful. And then there's one more little one. Now this little guy, I noticed, looks like he's missing something you can see there that would have been held in his hand, but he's still hand painted. He's got these beautiful blue eyes and the, um, the, little, the trees around his coat. But just look how beautiful and perfect they are. So anyway, these pieces will be up on our website at www.cityfarmhouseantiques.com. Be sure and message us if you have any questions. Sign up for our newsletter for all the latest and greatest finds. And we will see you in our next video.